Millennial and Opping tribes buy a lot of very different things that we have now. A lot of people make weapons that are bow, bow and arrows, and they make axes, knives, and all of the other kinds of stuff. The tribes mostly buy food, and they buy things for their houses. Cultures are very awesome. When they would go hunting, they wear deer ass to disguise themselves, and so the deer would think they, they're other deer. They would mostly trade weapons, very nice bow and arrows, and even sometimes clothes. They did many stories about wars. Millennial Nut Bay tribes planted a lot of foods. They planted kidney beans. Near other plants, they also planted squash, and they planted a lot of other stuff. A lot of women harvested crops in August. The tribe planted much more foods. They killed a lot of animals to get meat. The Lanao and Ape tribes use a lot of natural resources. They kill bulls for the tribe's clothes and deer for masks so that animals will actually think they are deer and they won't run away. They use sticks for their houses and they use straw for their houses and boats. They use plants to make soups and all and a few other ingredients. They use iron and wood to make axes and knives. In the history of Wane Lenape tribes, they didn't have a lot of to trade. The only things that they really had to trade was fur from the animals and the jewelry that they made. They really only hunted and fished all the years in the time. No. A lot of Lenni Lenape tribes live close to each other. Most of the Lenni Lenape tribes live in Canada, but some of the Lenni Lenape tribes live in Wisconsin and Oklahoma. Lenni Lenape tribes lived in very nice houses and they were very different from the houses we have now. Most of their houses were huts and they were very round.